On the journey to becoming a great rock guitar player, there are many skills and techniques we have to develop if we want to play the songs we all know and love. Now, in this lesson, I want to talk about some of those specific areas to focus on to really help you move this along so as you're learning more and more tunes, you can pick up these techniques and just jump right into them faster. Now, in this video, we're going to be focusing specifically on power chords, palm muting, and locking in your eighth note rhythm as we go through this hold on loosely guitar lesson. So let's dive straight into it. We're gonna start with the main riff to this song that uses a descending chord progression. It sounds like this. So let me talk about the chords that I'm playing here. These are two note shapes here, primarily power chords. I've got the note E on the seventh fret of the A string, and then the note B on the ninth fret of the fourth string. Now that's the first chord. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our index finger down one fret. So you'll notice that I'm playing, this is a common power chord shape here. You'll notice that I'm playing it with my index and my pinky. Now you could play it with your index and ring, but that just makes this stretch a little harder for me. So I like to kind of think ahead and use my index and pinky, and then I'm set up for the next move where I drop my index finger down one fret. Now this next chord is like a B over D sharp chord, okay? So again, fancier name, but all I'm doing is just moving one finger, one fret there. Okay, then we're gonna do the same movement, but we're gonna shift down. Here I've got a D power chord on the fifth fret of the fifth string and seventh fret of the fourth string. And then again, drop that index finger this gets an A over C sharp. So I've got E5, B over D sharp, D5, A over C sharp. And that's just a great classic rock chord progression. I mean, just. Love that progression, okay? Now. With the strum hand, we've got some specific things going on. The first thing I wanna talk about is palm muting, okay? That's where I bring my palm back, where the string and the bridge come together, and I just take a little bit of ring out of the note. So instead of, I get this, okay? Now the strum hand is going all down. These are eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you take your main beat, one, two, three, four, and you're cutting it up into two parts. You're playing on the down beat and then the off beat, one and two and three and four and. But I'm playing all downs with the strum hand to get that sort of chunking feel like this. So again, palm muting is very important and it's a technique you use all the time in rock guitar, but you also can use it in any other style as well. It's just a great sort of foundational guitar technique to work on. Now from here, we're gonna lift up the palm mute and we're gonna get this cool rock groove like this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going one and two and three and on the and of three, I'm actually lifting up the palm mute. So one and two and three and. Then it comes back down on beat four and then on the and of four, I do two things. I lift off the palm mute, but I also go to the next chord. So one and two and three and four and. Okay, then we come back to palm muting. One and two and three and, and a three again come back down on four, and then switch on the and of four. So the progression keeps progressing down through that descending pattern while I'm also lifting the palm mute on and off, again, on those same beats, the and of three and the and of four. And this creates a syncopation. So 
One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so you got to get that groove going, and this is a common groove you hear in rock guitar all the time. Just like in the blues, where you might have like a swing feel, this is a rock guitar 101 groove. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, now when we end the progression, we go one and two and three and four and and we climb back up. So on that A over C sharp, we bring the index up to a D5 and then bring the whole chord up to E5, like this. Three and four and. And there, I'm using no palm mute on three and, do a rest on beat four, and then on the hand of four, I go back to the very first chord, E5, like this. Three and four and. All right, so that is the main riff to the song. Now, there's a couple things I want to point out. At the top of the song, there's this little, there's this little slide from, that's from a B5. It's basically just the E5 shifted up one string, slide down to A, and then you start the groove. So you could add that in. You could also just start on the main riff right on it like this. All right, now that progression is in the key of E major, but it has a little bit of a bluesy feel to it with that D chord in there, because D is actually not in the key of E major. Now this has a bluesier sound, so a great scale to go with this is the E blues scale. Now if you haven't worked out this scale anywhere on the fretboard, I wanna give you a GIF that's gonna show you how to do that. It's gonna show you the five patterns that I use to play the blues scale up and down the neck, and you can get this completely for free. All you gotta do is go to johnmclennan.com slash bluesscales, and you can download this while it's still available, and it's gonna help you for learning the fretboard, and also if you wanna get into soloing, and really jamming over this progression. So just go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales and grab that now. Now for this riff here, we're gonna repeat it for the verse section. So it goes over two times. Keeping that palm muting going. Then we go, we go down to a C power chord. This is a little pre-chorus here. Now here I like to go to a three note power chord. So I'm playing three, five, five, starting on the fifth string there. And I just keep that same one and two and three and four and rhythm going and bring it up to D. Okay, then we're into the chorus. So it's just a quick pre-chorus there, a bar of C5, C power chord, then a bar of D5, D power chord, and then we go into the chorus. Now the chorus is the exact same progression as the verse, but there's a few things you gotta do differently. One, we're not gonna do the palm muting. So remember in the verse, we're... we had that groove going. In the chorus, it's just, you let it all ring out, you know? Hold on loosely. Okay, so we're gonna open up the palm muting and just go all down with the strum hand. One and two and three and four. And then on the and of four, we're gonna switch. Okay, so same rhythm there. One and two and three and four and. And two and three and four and. Now here I play on the beat. One and two and three and four and. One and two. Okay, so it's one. Hold on loosely. On the beat, one and two, don't let it go. And then we go. Okay, then we walk back up. Three and four and one and two and three and tight man. Da da da. Okay, then the second time we don't walk back up, we go. We go down to F sharp minor. Okay, now here 
I'm going to more fuller sounding chords, right? This is a bar chord at the second fret, two, four, four, two, 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 all six strings there. Then we shift to B, which is a B bar chord here starting on the second fret of the fifth string, two, four, four, four. Back to F sharp minor, then A. Okay. Now these are syncopated, so one, two. That's on the beat. One, two, and three, and four. And B is on the off beat, the and a four. Then F sharp minor on the beat. One, two, and three, and four. And A is on the and a four. So we have on the beat, then syncopated, then on the beat, then syncopated, like this. One, two, and three. All right, so here's the whole chorus. Again, we're opening up the rhythm and we're changing from the verse. So the verse is sort of like, you know, brought down dynamically. We've got the palm muting, it's got this cool groove. And then the chorus, we just, you know, let it all ring out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hold on loosely. Sharp minor, B, two, three, four. Then we're back to the verse groove. So those are the sections. Now there's one other part you need to know, and that's the bridge. Now the bridge comes in after the second chorus, and what you do, Playing the F sharp minor to B, we go one, two, three, and four. And F sharp minor, three, and four, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have an extra bar there of the A chord, which is just like ringing out, and then we go into these really cool double stops. Check it out. So I'm playing the third fret on the second string, and then the third fret on the first string. Just those two notes, and I'm gonna go back and forth here from three and three to three and two. Okay, just those two notes, so. Okay, so one and two and three and four and Ba, 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 ba. And then three, two, three, two. So. Okay. Then we have another movement here. We go from three and two to three and open with that same rhythm. Okay. So the first part is. Then second part. Okay, then we repeat it. Okay, then we cut the riff short the second time. Come off that part and we go open A to the first fret to the second fret. We're walking in to a B power chord. Just like this shape, two and four here. Two on the fifth string, four on the fourth string. Build in. Back to the main riff. Now this, right, it almost sounds like a blues riff, right? So knowing the blues, you're gonna see these same patterns in tons of rock and roll songs. And this is a huge leg up for players that know the blues because learning songs becomes so much easier. All right, so let me back up. I'm gonna play this bridge section with these double stops all together so you can hear what it sounds like. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four. There you have it, that's how to play 
Hold On Loosely as recorded by the 38 Special. Hope you got some value out of this lesson. There's a lot of nuggets in there. Again, going back to making sure that you have your power chords together, your palm muting together, and you're really locking in that eighth note rhythm. And then how much of rock comes out of the blues. So make sure to grab my free blues scale PDF guide. This is gonna show you the five patterns that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And it's gonna help you put all this stuff together. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more rock guitar, check out this video next.